All of me, it's Miguel Sam Possible. I'm Miguel's. My name is Taff316. Welcome back to another episode of Reading Your Comments. If once again, Thursdays, let's read some comments. The Milkman episode of Father Ted is aka Speed 3. Should definitely be next. Well, it seems like there's a lot of interest in that, and whenever I wreck Father Ted, it's definitely something that gets suggested to me. So, yeah, whenever we do Father Ted 5, which will happen uh, sometime in the future, that'll be the episode we do. The Taskmaster's YouTube channel videos are actually blocked in the UK, presumably because all the series are available to view in the UK on their catch up service. Ah! Well, it makes sense, but I guess you can't watch it on YouTube then. I guess, what should I tell the people who bitch on me? I, I, I don't want you reacting to it, I just want to watch a full episode. Should I just tell them to watch it on their fucking catch-up service? I can post whatever I like on Vimeo, so next week, I expect to find a new series, American Rex to Backdoor Sluts. And I thought this is a good Christian channel. It is a good Christian channel, but I mean, everyone needs some sluts in their lives. Priests have done worse. Taff, I'm gonna make a serious comment. Let's not do great for me for the moment, and one of the things I look forward to is your video. You always put a smile on my face, thank you. Well, I appreciate it, buddy. I I'd actually talked to someone else on Twitter uh, the other day. It was telling me uh, similar, and that's very humbling to hear from people. That I mean, like, I'm just, I'm just an idiot who makes videos, you know, uh, in my room. Uh, and to hear that if in any way uh, I guess I can make people laugh uh, when they're not feeling so good, or something like that, is very, a very humbling uh, f thing to hear, and something I never really imagined. Uh, so I appreciate. So I'm glad that you appreciate the videos, and I appreciate you for appreciating them. And I hope you feel better, buddy. I hope things get better. Would you ever consider doing another Inside Number Nine? I recommend the Devil at Christmas episode. Yeah, I have another Inside Number Nine. Probably not this month. Although there is a Christmas episode. Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. I'm still there if you have not being able to handle cringe. I sometimes have to skip ahead to the end of the scene and hope I haven't missed anything important and secondhand embarrassment too strong. With me, it's like, and you will notice this sometimes when I react to you between or I go like this or whatever, like, when something's cringe, like really cringe, I can still listen to it, but like, I can't look at it. It's just, it's too much, man. One day you'll do the League of Gentlemen. Now that'll be interesting. Yes, it will be, and that might be coming sooner than you think. Maybe early 2020. Legendary episode. Yes, Shuggy uh, was from the earlier episode of Still Game. Oh, okay. I figured, because I'm like, I hope I'm not confusing this old man with some different old man. But wasn't, I'm not thinking about it, in that second episode, wasn't he like kind of crazy a little bit? Or like, he was a little bit more crazy? Did he just like mellow out over time? I, I guess that makes sense, because I mean, first time I saw him was Series 1, and the second time I saw him was Series 6. So there's bound to be some character development. I'm just impressed you understand what they're saying in Still Game. You know, I gotta admit, I've talked about this before. The first time I reacted to Still Game, the first time, I watched like a minute and a half of the episode and then I paused it and I was like, oh, I'm fucked. Like, <laughs> like I am fucked as far as understanding what they're saying. But I powered through it um, and the more I've watched of the show, I think the better it's... I, I, it, it, watching the show more and more has helped me understand the accent more and more. So I think it, that definitely has benefited me. Might as well put this comment on every sale game video. Why is there a guy in the bottom right talking during the show? Might as well put that on every reaction video I've ever done, to be honest. Please do more steel game next year. There are a lot of great episodes you haven't seen yet. Plus there's one more special called Cold Turkey and New Year's Eve special too. Interesting. I don't think I'll do another one this month. That'd probably be overkill. Um, the Steel Game 5 starting a tiny bit sluggish, but... Providing it picks it back up, yeah, I'd like to do more in the, in the future. I really enjoy the show. The railway accidents weren't faked. They were real events. You can say more on YouTube. Well, I believe you, but why the hell would I want to see more? Guys, that Dogsy one was just plain weird. It was. Like, I, I felt bad for laughing after I understood what it was. But, I mean, come on, dude. Like, it was, it was weird. Like, you got fucking... The, <laughs> the fucking... The slow-mo... <laughs> And like the dad's weird ass facial expressions, like, like I don't know. I just I understood what they were going for. I just don't think it was very well executed. It's Christmas now. We've had trains and Wallace and Grummet. Yeah, sounds pretty good to me. All we need is the wear rabbit. I'm disappointed you were not in YouTube Rewind. Yeah, me too. I've always wanted to be in a Watch Mojo video. Merry Christmas. Have a shit Star Wars movie. <laughs> Love Disney. Hey now, hey now. Let's be nice. I mean. Hopefully number nine is good this year. Keyword is hopefully, but let's let's just let's just see what happens. All these adverts miss out on the part of British Christmas where your family had a big fight and you sit down and eat Christmas dinner in awkward silence. Man, it's just my family. Yeah, I mean, I, I, luckily, like, we don't have. Here's the thing about my family, man. I have a big family, but like none of them live nor near me. Like, 
at all. Like, I'm serious. My mom's mom lives in Tennessee. Uh, my dad's side of the family all live in Pittsburgh and Chicago. Uh, my stepdad's parents live in North Carolina. So literally, it's it's usually it's just us four. It's just me, my stepdad, my mom, and my sister. So it's it's not like we. I don't think we ever really had like a huge Christmas gathering thing. Why is Jesus so forgiving? I didn't expect to hear such an outburst on a good Christian channel. Oh wait, yes I did. Uh, never mind. As you were, carry on. You know, this is off topic, but somebody linked this to me. Um, they are coming out with a video game called I Am Jesus Christ or something like that, where it's quite literally a Jesus simulator where you play as Jesus, and you interact the tales of Jesus. And we're fucking playing that when it comes out. Wouldn't be an advert compilation without a triggering train inclusion. Try saying that five times fast. Yeah, I mean, better we get it over now. I mean, but then again, commercials eight is going to be like an hour, so who knows what the hell Rob put in there. Vodafone is Verizon in the U.S., or at least they still own them. Oh, back in the day, McLaurin raced in the U.S. Grand Prix. Uh, they replaced Vodafone with Verizon. Really? Okay, so is Vodafone any good then? Because Verizon is widely considered, I believe, the, the best cell phone provider here. I don't know if it, it's the same over there, but here Verizon's pretty much the best you can get. I don't have a TV, so it's nice to have my decision reaffirmed. Well, thought I could help, I guess. The hippie wizard guy in Finn Blue Line was played by writer Bill Elton. Ben Elton. Oh, really? That's funny because I mentioned him early in the episode. I knew what he, he knew what his name was. I didn't know what he looked like though. Well, sorry for not recognizing you, Ben. You played a very good hippie. Thankfully, Disney does not own Peter Pan. I think how the other versions fare to the box office day is one they should not revisit. Yeah, well, that's good they don't own it yet. Disney can technically buy anything they want, I suppose. But let's just not give them any ideas. Since you're not doing kids shows anymore, are you still gonna do Tracy Beaker Christmas special? That is a good question. Gonna have to get back to you on that. Why do you watch so much UK stuff? Is it because of the common language? No, it's because like 90% of my audience is the UK. Uh, like, I think like it's 92 right now and like another four is Ireland. So UK and Ireland are total 96% of my audience and it's like 2% US and like 2% Australia and like 0.0% of Jubbers, you know? So yeah, it's it's pretty much my entire audience is the, is the UK. So. And this all started, really, when I've told the story before, but I feel like I have to sneeze, but I think it left. Oh, wait. No, I think it's gone. No. Oh. Ah. Ah. No? Okay, I think it's gone. Um, this all started with my friend Hotshot sent me a compilation just randomly. He's uh, from England. He's like, hey, if I send you a compilation of British stuff, will you react to it? I'm like, sure. You know, and then fucking, I did that, and he made another one for me later in the year, and Rob saw that one, and Rob sent me the Coronation Street Bang, and Rob sent me other stuff simultaneously, and then the commercials videos hit sub boxes and got hundreds of thousand views, and I'm like, well, can't just ignore this, and then I just started doing British stuff, and now we're here. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for another episode of Reading Your Comments. Per usual, if you want a chance to get your comment read next week, just comment down below in the comment section. Uh, the comments in this video were pulled from four videos, uh, Reading Your Comments 53, American Reacts to Steel Game 5, American Reacts to Father Ted 4, and American... No, sorry. Wait, yes? Hmm. They're actually American Reacts to Steel Game 5, American Reacts to Christmas commercials, actually. Um, and then American Reacts to Finn Blue Lock. Yeah. Yeah, so four videos. American Rex to Chris Commercial 7, uh, American Rex to Finn Blue Line 2, American Rex to Steel Game 5, and Read Your Comments 53. So this video and the next three reaction videos in between this and the next Read Your Comments is, were, would be the best place to comment if you want a chance to get your comment featured next week. But that is going to do it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, where I stream every single day, my second channel for Steam Views, my Twitter, if you want to follow me, my Patreon, if you, Patreon, if you want to support me. Thank you again, all 31 of my Patrons, currently named in the description for your content support of me and my channel. I appreciate you guys so, so much and all you do to help support me. Uh, also in the description, find a link to my, uh, what is it? Uh, my Patreon? Wait. My Twitter, I stream every single day. My second show for streaming my Patreon. Oh, my Twitter, if you want to follow me. That too. You can follow me on Twitter. Uh, the community Reddit is also in the description. We have uh, 60 plus members right now. If you, if you There's a suggestions thread. There's a, uh, a list of things I've already done Christmas on. Uh, Christmas reactions done so far. A list of total reactions I've already done so far. Um, Rob, you're watching. You need to update that uh, Christmas thread, by the way. <laughs> um, and um, 
There's also, uh, also if you want to just post memes or if your YouTube sub box doesn't work, I post the videos from there every single day, so that's on there too. Uh, also in the description, you can find a link to the schedule where you can see what's going to be posted daily on the channel. With all of that being said though, my name is Taffrix Teen, it's been another episode of Reading Your Comments. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.